evening and welcome everyone. Just a few announcements before we start. Um, in this service, there'll be no uh, responses or singing. Uh, however, we have people to do that for us this evening. Also, tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., there's a joint Christmas Day service with Holy Communion at Consfinger. So all are welcome to join us there. And Sunday, December 22nd, will be a joint service of Holy Communion, 9.30 back here at St. John's. So um, plan accordingly and come when you're able. Uh, we invite everyone for our services. All are welcome. Also, lighting of the candles. John, our usher, will have the acolyte stick and he's going to hold it for you and you need to tip your candle, which is unlit, into the flame and then when it's lit, stand it upright. And then the next person next to you can light their candle off of them. And if you forget those instructions, it is written in the bulletin itself. Come, let us worship the Lord. Be praised, O God, for the blessings around us that point to you. Be praised, O God, for the signs of this holy season that awaken in us wonder. Praise for the light that illumines our darkness, like Christ who brings light to the world. Join our voices with those of all creation who sing at your coming. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it those who dwell in the land of deep darkness on them light has shined 
we have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. In the word was life, and the life was the light of all people. first lesson this evening is from Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of our hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second lesson tonight is from Titus chapter 2. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and world passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people of his own who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand as you're able for the reading of the gospel. Alleluia, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all of the people. To you that is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. In those days a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was ex expecting a child. While they were there, a time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger 
because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly, of the highest heaven. And they were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and had gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what they had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. We read in the first lesson about how the light is overcoming the darkness, and it's the people that who had darkness spread upon them that the light was shining, and this light was going to be a savior, a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, and justice would rest on his shoulders, and no more would there be the justice of the oppressor's rod, but that would be broken and they would experience freedom. And so the light came and the place was lit and Christ's light shone on everyone. <coughs> the poor, the oppressed, the rich, the haughty, everyone, didn't matter who you were, what you were, what income level or socioeconomic status you had, when light comes on, it floods the room. It illuminates the atmosphere. And we can actually see what's going on. And so the people who were in the time of Isaiah were in exile in Babylon and away from Jerusalem and the temple, and they had to make do with where they were at. And Isaiah gives them this hope, this hope of this light coming in the time of their darkness. And then we jump over to the gospel. And we have several players in the gospel. One player has been real consistent. It's been the angels. Throughout Advent, we have angels announcing to Mary about the birth of her child, that the Holy Spirit's going to come down and the Mighty One will overshadow her and she will bear a son. And Mary praised God for bringing down the rich and lifting up the lowly, a reversal of sorts that society doesn't have. But God knows what he's doing. And the angels talked to Zechariah and told him about John's birth. We had that in Advent. And how uh, Zechariah asked, what sign? And they said, when John comes and you're naming your child, you will be able to speak again. And so even though Elizabeth was barren at old age, he had her first child, John. And six months later, Jesus is born. 
But the angels again are there to announce this amazing event. The angel comes and they, gets, they gather the shepherds around from everywhere in that region. And there's a light, a bright light that the angel brings and shines upon the shepherds. And the shepherds were terrified. But the angel said, be not afraid, for I bring you glad tidings of great joy. To you this day, born in Bethlehem, the city of David, is God's son, the Holy One, the Mighty Lord, the Prince of Peace. Now this is what you're going to find. You go to the town of Bethlehem, you find the stable, and you'll find a babe in a feeding trough. Yeah, he'll be in swaddling clothes too, but all babes are. So go and seek him out and tell the mom what I had just told you. Well, you have your A list of people, you have your B list of people, and then you have the bottom of the barrel. Shepherds are not on the A list, and they come right above slaves. They're shallow, dishonest, and shiftless people were the shepherds, and that's how they were described in the first century. They were even eliminated from testi testifying in court because they were dishonest characters based upon the fact that they put their sheep on other people's land. And so they were called dishonest and shiftless. Oh, and by the way, they didn't smell very good. So we're dealing with a group on the lower end of the welcome scale. We're not dealing with any kings or queens or princesses or duchesses or lord and lords and all that hierarchy stuff. There's no religious theological people there. Just a babe in a manger with his parents. And God invites the shepherds, the smelly, shiftless, dishonest shepherds. We need to change this in the history book right now because we can't have this. You know, we should say the king and queens and all their uh, court were invited and and they had a welcome for Jesus like they do for all kings and queens that come out and rule the land. No, that's not the Christmas story. First of all, Jesus was born to a lowly servant, Mary. Had no status, no social economic status, of anything. She was a young maiden. And God chose her to have his son. We have another invitation from God to the shift, shiftless, dishonest shepherds. Once again, the lowly people we have signs 700 years ago bringing us to today of God's fulfilling his promise with ordinary people, just as you and I are ordinary. God invites us into the story. We're the narrators, but we can also put ourselves there in that barn and filled with hay and manure and all sorts of nice barn smells. 
you know. Don't forget to put some animals in there that are maybe running around and making noises like the animals do. They don't sit perfectly still, but it's the ordinary events that the angels invite the shepherds to. Now there are some positive viewpoints of shepherds like the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want or I am the good shepherd I come before you and you know me by my voice and those are positive images we take with us as we study God's word and we get to know Jesus as our good shepherd as we get to know his voice And so God comes with the invitation for us tonight. In the darkness, the light shines upon us. The light of the world is Christ. He shines amongst us. We are promised that God is going to come back while we're here and we look forward to his second coming back to earth and so while we're in between let us hear that invite again come everybody come join us we're having a party in the barn we're celebrating christ the prince of peace Celebrating Christ, the light of the world. So with the darkness that rules over our world today, may Christ light your world up so you can see that babe smiling back at you and saying, do not be afraid, for I come to bring peace. Amen.
Let us profess our faith as we listen to the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of that, all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the giver of life, who, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, Heavenly Father, we give thanks for this calm day that you have given us, a day after the storms. Peace in the world through the sunshine that you have blessed us with. We pray for those who are, who are farmers and con conservationists of the soil. We ask that you be with us as we try to take care of your planet that you have given us. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. O oh Lord, we give thanks for the gift you have given us, the gift of your Son, for inviting the shepherds to come and see him and for inviting everyone in this world and giving them an invitation to believe in the Christ, in the Christ child. We give thanks for that gift. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. O oh Lord, our great physician, we pray for those who are ill or recovering from procedures. We ask that you continue to be with them and be with families who have lost loved ones during this time of year. May your presence be felt in and among their families. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. O oh Lord, we give thanks for the people that we have in our lives, even though it's hard to see one another these days with the COVID virus. We ask that you do something to eradicate the virus where we can gather once again with people and celebrate and fellowship with one another. Hear us, O oh Lord. Your mercy is great. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we lift our prayers unto you and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Turn to the center aisle and wave at those across. And honk twice if you're outside. Let us pray. Gracious God, you come to us, one unknown, bringing joy and salvation to the earth. Nourish us at your banquet table that with all who welcome your birth, we may proclaim your peace, revealed in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right and salutary that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise 
to you, O Lord, Holy Father, through Christ our Lord, in the wonder of mystery of his flesh, you have opened the eyes of faith to a new and radiant vision of your glory, that beholding the God made visible, we may be drawn to love the God whom we cannot see. And so with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we pray to you and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the night in which he is betrayed, he took bread, gave thanks, and gave it for all, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all, saying, Take and drink, this is my blood shed for you. It's the new cup of the covenant shed for you for the forgiveness of all your sins. Do this for the remembrance of me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The body of Christ given for you, take and eat. Blood of Christ shed for you, take and drink. Gracious God, 
that you have once again fed us from your very self with the body and blood of Christ. Through this mystery, send us forth to proclaim your promise to a world in need. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Please stand if you are able. God, who sent the Holy Spirit to Mary, proclaim joy through the angels, sent the shepherds with good news, and led the Magi by the star. Bless you this day through the Word made flesh. Amen. Thank you. 
peace share the gift of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Thank you.